Hello and dwarves, welcome to Let's Fix Computers. Today we're going to have a look at this Sony laptop which has a failed backlight. Um, now, normally the first thing I do in this situation is I dig my fingernails and have a look down this part of the display assembly to see if there is an inverter there, which tells us if it's an LED backlight or not. Because uh, if it's an LED backlight, then it's immediately changed the panel. Um, however, if it's a fluorescent backlight, it could be the inverter. However, this one is actually stuck down pretty good and I can't get to it. So, we're going to have to start taking this apart. So, uh, I'm going to start by taking this front bezel off and we'll see how far we get. Oh, this bezel is quite strong. In fact, I think this bezel is stuck on all the way around the edge of the screen, which is not unheard of, but very uncommon. And it's a pain in the ass when that's the case. I think I've managed to make a start on that. Oh my god, it is. I can hear it peeling off. Oh. Oh, who would do such a thing? Oh, this is going to be tough to get off without breaking the panel. Normally I make removing bezels look very easy, but this one is not going to go without a fight. Whew. There we go. That was so intense I'm having some coffee. Right, so what has that left us with? We've got, there's the inverter, so we have got a fluorescent panel here. So that inverter is gonna be the primary suspect. Um, what we'll try and do, firstly, I'm gonna have a quick look out the back to see if I've got anything that matches this, because I do collect old backlight inverters just in case I encounter a laptop like this. To be honest, they're getting pretty rare now, but every now and then you come across one and having a spare inverter is the perfect way to fix them. There we go. So what this does, this is a backlight inverter. It converts low voltage DC into high voltage AC to power a fluorescent lamp that's in the back. And so that's why you have um, the display cable coming up here to the back of the panel and a dedicated power cable that powers the backlight. So let's see if we've got one of these at the back. Okay, we've got two possible matches here. We've got one that's a direct match by just some loop of chance and we've got a Toshiba which um, is not a direct match but it does have a six pin connector that looks very similar so I'm just going to see if this one fits firstly it does so we can test the Toshiba right let's start with the actual Sony first because obviously this is a direct replacement Oh, first time. I wish they were all this easy. Look at that. That's a winner. Right, just as a control test, I'm gonna plug the old one back in, just to validate that this wasn't a fluke. There we go. The camera can't see it. However, there is very faintly stuff on the display. Let's turn that off again. All right, so if you're fixing your own laptop, what you want to do is jump on eBay and search for, um, I would start searching for the model of the laptop, so VPC, blah, 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 uh, then inverter, uh, or if you're having difficulty finding one, you can try searching for the numbers written on the old inverter, so like this one and or this one. Uh, look for any other model numbers that are sometimes written on it. Um, so like for example, 
This Toshiba one has got quite a few model numbers there. You could try searching for those and you should be able to find one. So yeah, uh, I would expect to pay approximately 50, 40, yeah, 10 pounds, 15 pounds for an inverter. Sometimes they're cheaper. It depends on the rarity of them. Um, they're probably going down in price just because these laptops are dying out. So they're not really worth as much anymore. But yeah, at any rate, eBay is your friend. So let's connect this bad boy up and reassemble the laptop. So I'll just tuck that back in there. Sometimes these are screwed into place, sometimes they clip into place. This one is just stuck in place with double-sided tape. So I'll just arrange the cables so that sits back in there. And we can put this bezel back on. There we go, and we are finished. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye for now.